The polyfill exploit didn't have to happen and you can even increase your website's performance by using this simple trick here. And it's so easy. So let's go through the how, why and what. The polyfill exploit happened because a Chinese organization took over the domain and that domain was hosting a CDN version of the polyfill and it simply just replaced it with malware. It was so easy and it affected millions of websites and probably billions of people. There's two straightforward ways that we can avoid this in the future. First, when you include your scripts, you can put an anonymous and an integrity tag with it. This makes sure that the browser checks the integrity of that script. And if it doesn't fulfill that, it will simply stop working. This is terrible because number one, it's actually not that anonymous. And number two, the website can still continue to track you or your users. And there's also another problem that I will address a little bit later. The solution I go with is contested. And it's very simple, but people really, really hate this one here. They feel like it's a hack, but I think it's the right way to do it. I copy paste all my CSS and JavaScript libraries into my static folder and I just post it myself. Why would I want to do this? Well, number one, I have full control over my assets. I know they're not going to get changed all of the sudden, both maliciously, but also just unintentionally. I avoid the clients fetching resources from many different domains, which means a lot of round trips to the DNS server. Number three, we can develop offline which is important for my team because my Ukrainian developers might not have internet because of the bombings. Now tell me, why would you want to bomb these girls here? Some people will say this is slow, but in most cases it's actually faster. Let's, let's go through it. Let's say you have 10 different assets from 10 different domains. Well, the client might have to fetch 10 DNS domain requests and also fetching it from the servers. That's 20 requests for 10 assets. And that can be pretty slow. Some of them might have been cached, but most likely not all of them. Now what I do instead is I just set up my own bunny CDN and this way they only have to do one fetch to my DNS and then it's spread all across the world so that they will get it in a matter of milliseconds. And you can get a little bit nasty here because when you're hosting and you're controlling all your assets, you can also merge them together. So let's say you have two scripts that you're using. Well, I'll just merge them together and um, then just serve that because a lot of times the slowness is not in the amount of megabytes that are sent, but the amount of requests that you have to. This is how the TCP protocol, HTTP protocol is working. Now I know it's nasty, but it gets the job done and it serves your websites super fast. I actually made a video here that you can click on and this will tell you exactly how to set up Bunny CDN. And tell me in the comment section below, what do you do to keep up with security?